Hi guys! So in today's video I've got another subscription box unboxing and if you're not already subscribed to me then you won't know but for the next few months I'm going to be doing a different subscription service unboxing every month. So I've already done Birchbox and Glossybox and I'll link those two videos below. But for this month I'm going to be unboxing the Look Fantastic subscription box. So this is the box for March and I'm just going to be unboxing this in this video and for the next few months like I said I'm going to be doing a few different subscription service unboxings each month and if you guys have any subscription boxes you want me to look at then let me know and I will look at unboxing those in the near future. So before I start going on a tangent, in this video I'm going to be opening the Look Fantastic March box and letting you guys know what I think of it. I've never done one of these boxes before by Look Fantastic so this is going to be completely new to me so obviously I'm really excited to see what is in this box. So this is what the box looks like from Look Fantastic. This subscription service is £15 a month with free shipping so I'm interested to see what sort of products I get inside. I don't have a clue what is going to be in this box because usually you'll see like sneak previews on their website of what's in the box. So Birchbox and Glossybox both tend to do the like sneak preview of what you could find in the box. I don't have a clue what is in Look Fantastic. The box is quite heavy, I was shocked when I received this how heavy it was, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to receive maybe some body lotions or some sort of products like that because it's quite heavy. But the box is really nice, it's quite big and it's just got like a lift off lid, so I'm just going to open it up and see what's inside. Ah oh, okay that might explain why it's quite heavy. In this box, which I believe you get in every single um, Look Fantastic box, I can't get this out, in each Look Fantastic subscription box you get an L magazine so that's probably why it was quite weighty. So it's quite a thick magazine and I believe these are, oh it says on it, £4.50. I might keep that for a flight that I'm going to be on next week, that would be quite useful for that. And then it's just got a little leaflet which I believe might be what's in the box. So I'm not going to read through that until I get to each product. So this is what it looks like inside, in a nice little tissue wrapper. So this is what it looks like inside. Sneak preview, it actually looks quite exciting. So by the looks of it there are one, two, three, four, five, six products in here and then the L magazine. So very excited to see what we've got here. So the first thing that I've picked up is a Morphe High Impact Highlighter. I've never used Morphe before, but I've heard that they are a really good makeup brand. So it's really interesting to see a Morphe product in here. So this is a highlighter. So it actually looks quite dark. It's almost like a gold. Let's have a look at whether this has an RRP. Right, so the Morphe Mini Highlighter in Spark, so that's the shade. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have a recommended retail price, which I do quite like in Birchbox and Glossybox, they've both had like a recommended retail price. So the next thing I've got is an anti-pollution charcoal and mud repair mask by Madara Organic Skincare open this up. It's a really big box but quite a small little product inside. So let's have a look at this. So this is like a little mud mask sample. So let's have a look at this in the little booklet. So it's an anti-pollution charcoal and mud mask and you apply it to clean skin, leave for five to, leave for five to ten minutes and then rinse thoroughly and use two to three times a week for best results. So this is like a little sample size of a Madara Organic Skincare Smart Mud Mask. I know I've said it in a previous unboxing video but I do like receiving like face masks and things like that in subscription boxes because I tend to not go out and buy a face mask, it's just something I don't think about. So if I receive it in a subscription box it's like quite a nice treat for me. So that's the second product. Now the next product is a Rituals Soothing Hand Balm. So this is in cherry, cherry Blossom and Rice Milk. 
So this Rituals brand, I received a body lotion from this brand in a birch box and to be honest, I really enjoy it. It smells really nice. Mm, it smells really nice, it smells really sweet. It feels really like thick. I don't know how well it's gonna soak it in, but it's, it seems like a really thick moisturizer. I do have a lot of hand creams and it does take me a while to get through them. And that is a really big like hand cream size, but it can go in my stash of hand creams and I'll get around to using it at some point. Next, I've got an EOS Visibly Soft Blackberry Lip Balm. So I do own an EOS balm, it's quite old now, so I probably need to get rid of it. And this looks like a blackberry scented EOS. I believe these are about three or four pounds to buy in store. So pretty happy with that. Just something I can chuck in my bag and they're always useful. Next thing I've got is by, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this, Amoravixa Budapest. And this is a cleansing foam. So it doesn't really say much on the packet. So this is a cleansing foam that removes makeup and impurities without stripping the skin. And it's just like a foam cleanser. That's gonna be interesting to use because I'm always up for trying new products in terms of skincare. And then the last thing in the box is a product by The Ordinary. And it's a, I can never pronounce this word, hyaluronic acid so it looks like a serum and it's got like a little pipette sort of top and it says treat your complexion to a moisture boost with this intensely hydrating serum packed full of hy hyaluronic acid to deliver long lasting moisture this serum acts as a hydration support formula to leave skin smooth plump and youthful looking so you apply a couple of drops to your face in the morning and evening before moisturizer so that is a completely new product to me. I've never even heard of the brand. To be honest, I've not heard of a few of these brands in this box, so it'll be really interesting to try out some new brands. So this will be interesting to try out. So unfortunately, I can't tell you like the retail prices of all these products, but by the looks of it, it's definitely worth more than £15. And I'm definitely gonna be using all of these products. So I think that was a success. I'm really happy with everything that I've got and I'm happy paying £15 for everything that I've got. And I'm really excited to try all the new products. I'm not sure what subscription box I'm gonna be trying out for next month, but if anyone's got any ideas of what they wanna see, then just leave it in the comments below. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribed and tick the notification bell so you can see when I next post a video. So I will see you all in the next video.